played with each other a little bit, a uh, little bit before. And this was this was nice to sort of right. like uh, evolve musically together to something that that didn't sound or sounded less bad. In tune. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely progress in that. Like there was a couple times where I had a plan and it somewhat seemed like it worked in a nice way, maybe. Yeah. Instead of just not. I don't know what your plan was, but <laughs> I had a couple, felt like I see. I had I had a plan with um, Haunt and Spectre, and there were there were some times where uh, you know do like Spectre for a short amount of time and then they would introduce some whale, like a, it was more of like a, a whale a moan and then you know it would be gone and then come back and I, I, that was some of my favorite moments and then playing around with the you know, tone recall obviously that that was on a lot almost the whole time probably. Almost the whole time. Yeah. The, yeah, the interspersed whale calls. <laughs> Did something for me for sure. You just you can't do too yeah, much yeah. whale because then it, you know you lose it. It's call and response. Yeah. You just gotta sprinkle in the whale and take it away so that people want to see it. Yeah. 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 Our pedals like each other. I think so. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and then the Dark Star. That's the first time I played that. <clears throat> that just makes everything sound. So whenever that wasn't on, things weren't as good. That's a good sign for a pedal, I would say. If it's off, it's not as good. Things feel better when you're on. Yeah, my pedals are four. I think that that's, that's true. What, uh, okay, so if you had something to say about, let's say you're two, <laughs> might as well do some sort of pitch. Like you've got, Okay. The Spectre is relatively new too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tonal Recall is like uh, hours. Yeah. Hours new. Yeah. To the public. Hours. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what's kind of your, uh, what's your idea behind, behind each one? Like, what are you, what are you shooting for? Well, with the Spectre, I just really wanted to do, uh, I was, I'm re I was really into, uh, through zero flanging analog specifically because there's just not a lot out there in that realm. And I was actually pretty, pretty inspired by uh, uh, Jack DeVille because he was, uh, you know, his way into that and instrumental and uh, my understanding of how it works when I was starting to look into it. Um, so I, I really wanted to get my control and module shape control and apply that to that kind of effect. Um, and then the whale sounds kind of just happening on their own. Whale, whale theory. Um, so that was just kind of nice how that worked out. And with tonal the recall, um, you know I've been wanting to make a delay for a long t t time and um, these uh, MN 3005 chips just got reissued, so I was excited about that and started working on it and able to get a nice, warbly, analog y tone from the repeats that we've been, we've been enjoying. We were enjoying them last night. Feverishly. Yeah, we were, we were recording some stuff last night, and you know, when you record stuff super late, and knobs had slept. Very little, like an hour the night before, because he's working on this other project, and um, we were a little. It sounded, it was sounding cool to us last night, but then sometimes in recording projects, something sounds cool at 3 a.m. and you wake up and it sounds different. <coughs> but it, we, we woke up and we're like, oh, okay, that we wanted to upload it, you know, on to YouTube so that we wouldn't change our mind in the morning. Yeah, or at least that's what I thought. Anything to add knobs? You haven't Good. said much. No, it's fine. We only had headphones, yeah. so it was like really weird for the other two people in the room because whoever was playing was, was really <laughs> oh, into that it. That was interesting. Yeah. And no one else knew what was happening. 
Um, or sometimes you would hear stuff if like the oscillation got crazy, and you know you'd hear something, but that's it. It was a weird night. <laughs> weird night. Yeah. It's a good pedal. Uh, yeah. Mickey Mouse was there the whole time on the wall, oh. <laughs> bearing down on us. He's our, our guardian. Mm -hmm. yeah. Zach was in the bunk bed. Zach slept in the bunk bed. Who knows what they're up to up there? True. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> All right. This is whale theory. Mm -hmm. uh, on coffee address. Nobs and Joel uh, from uh, Hidden House Coffee Roastery. So, thanks, guys. Thank you, man. Thanks for having us here. <laughs> Tell me about your beans. Not my beans. beans guys. Hey, it's communal beans. Hey, we did it. It's really fun. We did it. <laughs> Good job, everybody. How's the coffee? Pete, I have a question. Is it true that this is the place that, uh, like when they are building San Juan Capistrano, the mission, like they would come here, the missionaries, they would get their, their cappuccino? Yeah. I heard that, but I wasn't sure if it was true, but now... You know, those urban legends are cool. It's more true than the movie. Uh, don't... That's... That's... You, that's... There's a lot of backstory to that. It's...